Is Honorable Francis Abo here? Honorable Francis, go ahead very quickly. Silence, please. Silence, please. All members should resume their seats, please. Honorable Dambata, Chairman House Service, resume your seats, please. Thank you, the Right Honorable Speaker. I remain the Honorable Francis Otago. I speak for the long suffering people of Addo, Poko, Badibo, Federal constituency. I am proudly Benue, the Food Basket State. Honorable Speaker, I rely on Order 8 and the combined rule of Rule 4 and 7 to move a motion of urgent national and public importance on the killing of 130 easy people in my federal constituency. Precisely in a clear world of our local government of Benue State. Okay, I don't want to listen to my emotion. Go ahead, Honorable Francis. Mr. Speaker, on the 30th of May, 130 of my constituents were murdered. Hold on, hold on, Honorable Francis. Hold on, please. For those who are exiting, for those who are exiting the chambers, for whatever meeting you are going for, can you please exit and leave those of us in chambers alone and quiet, please? Somebody is moving a motion, we can't even hear a thing. Honorable Rotemi, can you please leave the chambers with the same passion that you spoke? Leave quickly, please. <laughs> Honorable Francis. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. I was saying that. I have a motion of public importance on the killing of 130 of my constituents, precisely the easy people in a clear world of other local government, Benue State. And I'm relying on Order 8, Rule 4 and 7. And I want to seek the indulgence of Mr. Speaker to allow me to read my motion. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. No, no. Are you done? Okay, seconder. Osby. Thank you, all right, honorable speaker, honorable colleagues. My name is Honorable Gono I represent the good people of Unkwara and Wangali Shan in the Abba Federal Constituents. Mr. Speaker, I'm from Imo State. Mr. Speaker, I right to second the motion of urgent public importance raised by my colleague, Honorable Francis. I do a second. It was in favor of that this motion is urgent enough, please say aye. Just against you saying it. I have it. Honorable Francis. Please move your motion. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The House knows that in the wee hours of Sunday, 30th May 2021, gunmen believed to be flying mercenaries invaded the communities in Ekile and Ijuban wards in other local government of Benue State and butchered about 130 innocent Izi people. The communities invaded are Ndobasi, Ataloga, Odoke, Ndigwe, and Pufu, all in Ekle Ward, while many people 
were also killed in Obakoto village in the Yuban world. Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, these words are my direct constituents. I hail from the Yuban world. Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, the government were believed to have carried out this heinous crime to avenge the killing of one of their own, a Fulani header known as Al Haji Isa Musa in Ataloga. Al Haji Musa was reportedly killed by four. IPOP and ESN members while returning from the popular Basi market in Ekele Ward in February this year. IPOP indeed openly claimed responsibility for the act, and the Benue state government promptly arrested the culprits and handed them over to the police, and they have since been prosecuted and convicted. Also aware that I joined the Benue state government to intervene on the matter and assuage the family of Alaji Musa. We indeed reached a truce, but our efforts turned out to be peace of the graveyard as the family of Alaji Musa allegedly mobilized mercenaries and launched savage attack on the peaceful and law-abiding members of my constituency, who knew nothing about the killing of Musa. Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, I also joined His Excellency the Deputy Governor of Benue State, Engineer Benson Abonu, to Ekele Town to condole with the people. Also knows that as the direct representatives of the people, I personally visited Ndobasin and all the Z communities where the killings took place last week. I also made donations to the Z communities and all the IDP camps on behalf of the Benue State Government. Aware that the total number of 130 people were murdered by the government and have since been buried, while people who are uh, people who were injured are still receiving treatment in the neighboring hospitals. The multi-billion naira Ndobasi popular market was raised down, and I wept profusely at citing the carnage unleashed of my people. Oh, my people, my dear people of Izi. Aside the invasion of a clay world by the Fulani government, there is ongoing crisis between the Ezra and Ethiopian people, principally in Ulai district of other local government of Benue State, which has led to a spiral of killings with thousands rendered homeless, as well as the destruction of property and businesses running into billions of naira in the popular in the Kiri market. Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, the Ulai crisis emanated from a local government of a Bonyi state, where the FU Maneza took arms against one another over a mere National Union of Road Transport Workers election. But spill to Ado, where we also have a sizable number of EZA and FU people as my constituents. Also note that the Fulani induced carnage in Izi communities and the Efiom Eza crisis have left in their wake gory tales of woes, agonies of refugees, spilling of innocent blood and avoidable humanitarian crisis. Consequently, several IDP camps have been created in order to provide temporary shelter to the refugees. The House resolves to urge the National Emergency Management Agency to promptly provide relief material to the affected Izi communities in our local government. The House also urged the Federal Minister of Point Humanitarian of order, Affairs Mr. Speaker. and Disaster and Social Point of order, Mr. Speaker. to pay the medical bills of the surviving victims and grant them COVID-19 loans or grants to pick the pieces of their lives. The House urged the Federal Government, precisely the Inspector General of Police, <laughs> Mr. Salame, your time is off. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. Mr. police posts in all the border wards of Ado, namely Point, Ekele, point of order, Mr. Juba, Speaker. Kula, and Ako. Who's ready for the order? Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, I am Abu Bakr Hassan Fulata, President of Bruniwa Krika Samba, Guli Federal Constitution, Mr. Speaker, I'm from Jigao State. Mr. Speaker, I'm coming under Order 8, Rule 4, Sub Rule 2, 3, 4, and 5, which reads as follows Matters of urgent public importance shall seek to address any of the following. One, immediate threat to lives and properties. Two, if the matter is allowed to persist and not addressed immediately, it may A, lead to breakdown of law and order. B, cause serious damage or total destruction of federal government owned or controlled infrastructure or national monument or a world heritage center. Three, any matter considered to be urgent by Mr. Speaker. Three, if the claim is allowed by the Speaker 
and the leave of the House is given by majority of all members present, the matter shall not, the matter shall stand over till the next day, till the next legislative day. Four, not more than two of such motions should be made at the same city. And third, any other matter shall be on notice only. Mr. Speaker, I'm coming, I'm making this information available to all members, which they not very well know, but it's being abused on a daily basis by members. What? What? So, Mr. Speaker, I think, I think members should take note because it is costing us a lot of the same time. They know that the law, the law, the rule, our rules do not allow more than two motions, but they still insist on making this. Thing. So we should put a stop to this, this this practice, and we should also implement the rule. Not once you move a motion of identity reporters, it will not be taken immediately. That's what our rule says. It will be taken the next day. So, Mr. Speaker, these are the issues I want to raise. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, I hope all members have heard the Chairman Business and Rules. I think, I think you are actually correct. We have defined what urgent public importance is. We have defined it. Uh, so, so it's not everything that comes under urgent public. Everything else other than that, that does not meet the definition in the rules, comes under notice. So let us, let us stick to our rules, understand what urgent public importance is, and comply with those rules although chairman the, the the there's an omnibus clause that allows the speaker uh, to allow to give him discretion on any matter that he considers urgent enough so but even with that members are abusing it and even i think sometimes the, the speaker abuses it too so I, I think we should see the first thing is to look at the definition it is only at rare occasions that i can even say okay you are you are allowed and then the issue of um, two matters in one day i don't think that allows me any discretion from what you've read it says must only two can be taken unless we suspend our rules that is unless we suspend our rules and uh, and I think we, we suspended this one. I think we suspended this one. But it is important. Otherwise, we can be here. Everybody wants to hear public importance. When we have the, there's no more motion or notice. And we'll be here till 2, 3. And we'll be able to take, go to the other, other paper. You know, you know, I'm, you know I'm, 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 very, I'm very liberal and compassionate. Next time, I'll get the DS to come and preside. Honorable Francis, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Your point of order is sustained, uh, Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The House urged the federal government, precisely the Inspector General of Police, to establish police posts in all the border wards of other local government, namely Ekile, Ijiban, Ulai, and Akogoglolo wards, as these wards are currently without police posts. And this has actually exposed the area to terrible insecurity. The House also praised the Governor of Benue State for his political will to enforce the law establishing the volunteer guard which empowers Benue citizens to carry legitimate right, will you still guard the police across the chair? And finally, the House urge the House urge NEMA to provide relief materials to the IDP camps and those who have been displaced by the EZA and Efion crisis in other local government. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I so move. Second, uh, honorable, honorable Mike. Second, uh, go ahead. 
Go ahead. Go ahead. Put on your mic. Your mic, your mic. Mic. Thank you, right honorable speaker. Thank you, respected colleagues. I remain honorable Vincent Ekene Ufumelo. I represent the good people of Anambra State, starting from Oyo for Oyi and I am in federal constituency. Mr. Speaker, I rise to second this very important motion moved by my colleagues. I so second, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Honorable Colleagues. Those in favor of this motion, please say aye. Those against it, say nay. I have it.